A function is nothing but a box like this. It takes an input, performs an operation on it and gives an output. If I feed 2 into this box, it gives us 10. When I feed 4 into it, it gives us 20. And when I feed 7, it gives us an output of 35. What is this box doing to the inputs? You would have probably guessed. It is just multiplying the inputs by 5. 2 times 5 is 10, 4 times 5 is 20 and 7 times 5 is 35. This is the function. But there has to be a way in which this function is written. Yes, it's most commonly written as f of x is equal to 5x. What does this tell us? What's written within the brackets is the input to this function. And what we get is the output. If x is 2, then the output will be 5 times 2, which is 10. Does it have to be x? No, we can also write it as f of a is equal to 5a. If we input the value a, we get an output of 5a. So f of something generally means function of. Does it have to be an f? Again, not necessarily. We can say that g of x is equal to 5x. g is a function which multiplies 5 to the input and gives us an output. So don't get confused if you see some other letter as the function name. Here's one final way in which this can be written. y is equal to f of x is equal to 5x. y is also used sometimes to write the output. Let's understand this well y is equal to f of x is equal to 5x. What will happen for x equal to 2 as the input? y will be equal to f of 2. It is a function which takes the value of x as the input and gives 5x as the output. 5 times 2 is 10. We are just using y instead of f of x because it's a little easier to write it. For x equal to 2, the output y will equal 10. And what if x is 4? y will be f of 4. And 5 times 4 is 20. So don't get confused when you see a y or a g or an f. The meaning of the function does not change. Sometimes we might have a variable input. Look at this function. g of a is equal to 2a squared. What would be g of b plus 2? Easy. We just substitute b plus 2 in place of a. It will equal 2 times b plus 2 squared. All we really need to do in functions is substitute the input value and get the output.